Should Christians support Black Lives Matter? And does everyone mean the same thing whenever they use the phrase Black Lives Matter? That's what we're gonna talk about today on The Beat. Hey, my friend, welcome back to The Beat. My name is Alan Parr. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time here, it's a pleasure. If you want a free ebook, click the link in the description box below. If you enjoy this video, consider subscribing. Hit that little bell notification so you won't miss a beat. All right, so there is a lot of controversy surrounding these three words, Black Lives Matter. And whenever you use these three words, there is a variety of different responses. Some people are tired of hearing these words and they wonder why black people are getting so much focus, so much attention and potentially special treatment and will oftentimes respond with the phrase, all lives matter. And then you have another group that feels so strongly about it, they are willing to riot, protest, and even loot because of the words Black Lives Matter. But in this video, I wanna talk about what should the Christian response be to Black Lives Matter. And in order to do that, I first and foremost wanna look at the Black Lives Matter organization and what they stand for, but then also I'm gonna talk about what the slogan or phrase Black Lives Matter really means. Okay, so one of the things that the Black Lives Matter organization is in support of is this idea of totally defunding the police department. And I'm not a supporter of that, but let me read what they have on their website. They say, we know that police don't keep us safe. And as long as we continue to pump money into our corrupt criminal justice system at the expense of housing, health, and education investments, we will never be truly safe. Now, once again, I don't support this idea and I don't think Christians should either because they are doing the very thing against the police department that they don't want people to do to the black race, which is make generalizations and stereotypes. We understand that there are some police officers that are rotten, some bad apples in the bunch, and many of whom may be racist. We get that, we understand that, right? But to defund an entire organization simply because there are some that are corrupt is once again just ludicrous and not something that I think we should be in support of. It's very unfortunate that many black women and men unarmed have been gunned down at the hands of white police officers. We understand that. We desire that there is justice that is served on behalf of the families who have lost these loved ones, but to paint a broad brush and say, we're just gonna defund the whole police department is not something that I think Christians should get behind. We still need the 90% of good cops in our schools and our communities and policing our neighborhoods. And by the way, defunding the police department isn't going to solve the problem of racism anyway. Now, the second issue that I wanna bring up about the Black Lives Matter organization is their support, their open support of the LGBTQ plus community. Reading once again from their website, it says this, we make space for transgender brothers and sisters to participate and lead. We are self-reflexive and do the work required to dismantle cisgender privilege and uplift black trans folk, especially black trans women who continue to be disproportionately impacted by trans antagonistic violence. Now you may read that and say, well, they're just simply standing against any violent attacks towards black transgender people. But let's keep reading. They also say we foster a queer affirming network when we gather, we do so with the intention of freeing ourselves from the tight grip of heteronormative thinking, or rather, the belief that all in the world are heterosexual unless he or she or they disclose otherwise. So let's unpack that for just a moment. They say they want to dismantle this idea of cisgender, which is the idea that there are two genders, male or female. They want to dismantle that and suggest that there could be a multiplicity of genders, which once again is not biblical. They also say that they are queer affirming, which means they are standing behind the lifestyle of someone who is queer. And then finally, they are behind this idea that not everybody in the world is heterosexual and we need to get away from that heteronormative thinking and be much more open-minded towards people who are not. Once again, as a Christian who's 
Christ-like character must always supersede my race, my ethnicity, my color. I, as a Christian, cannot stand behind any organization that is in favor of supporting and encouraging people to be involved in the LGBTQ plus lifestyle. But perhaps the most troubling thing that this organization stands for is the disruption of the family. Notice it says here on their website, we disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement by supporting each other as extended families and villages that collectively care for one another, especially our children, to the degree that mothers, parents, and children are comfortable. So let's unpack this. They want to come against this idea that they say is Western prescribed, but is really more of a God-ordained institution of family, which is the idea that a family unit is made up of a male, for the father, a female for the mother, and children. They say, we want to disrupt that idea, that Western, that old school traditional idea of family, and we want to be in support of any family model, whether that's two women and children, two men who are raising children, we want to dismantle, we want to disrupt that idea of the nuclear family. My friend, any organization that wants to disrupt the God-ordained family unit that was instituted at creation is demonic, satanic, unbiblical, and it's not something that we as Christians need to stand behind. In addition to this, what is very ironic is that unique to the black community, one of the major problems that we face is fatherless homes. You can look up statistics that talk about the fallout and all of the issues that stem from black fathers not being in homes, and yet this organization wants to take a stand to encourage encourage and promote homes where there is not a black father in the home. This does not help the black community. Now, with all of that being said, most people, whenever they use the phrase black lives matter are not endorsing their full support of the organization black lives matter but rather the slogan or the idea that black lives do matter let me put it to you this way let's say i'm hanging out with one of my friends and i use the phrase just do it by me simply using the three words just do it does not in any way in uh, make me an endorser of everything that Nike believes, says, and practices, it was just appropriate for that moment for me to use the phrase or slogan or tagline, just do it. In the same way, most people, when they say Black Lives Matter, are not in support of everything that this organization uh, stands for. So if these three words are a stumbling block for you in terms of when you hear these three words, you just cringe. Let me rephrase it. Every black person has the same right to life as another people group. Now to those who have resistance towards the three words black lives matter, because in your mind or in your heart, you're thinking, hey, why should black people get special treatment? Why are we focusing so much on black lives? Well, let me just say this. It would be preferred as African-Americans that the phrase black lives matter, matter was never in existence in the first place. The only reason why these three words came into existence was in response to unarmed African-American men being shot down and more importantly, there being no justice being served for the cops that shot these African-American young people down. That's the whole reason why these three words came into existence. And I would suggest that most black people would prefer that it never even had to emerge in the first place. Now, I need to make this very, very clear. Is it only black lives that matter? No. So let's just say that Asian men and women started to be gunned down by black police officers. It would be appropriate for me to start a hashtag or a slogan or a phrase Asian lives matter. And as a Christian, I should get behind that idea because in this very moment, we are seeing video clips and footage of Asian men that are not doing anything wrong. They're sitting in their homes or they're sitting in their car 
and they get gunned down by the hands of a black police officer or a white police officer or whoever. It would be appropriate for me in that moment to empathize, sympathize, and mourn with my Asian brothers and say, hey, you know what? I'm seeing clip after clip, footage after footage, every month, every two months, I'm seeing these things come up. Brother, I stand with you. Asian lives do matter. And if we started seeing police officers gunned down by black people or white people, it would be appropriate for me to say blue lives do matter. But what would be inappropriate is if somebody posts something on Facebook about a, a cop friend of theirs who uh, is killed in the line of duty at the hands of a black young man or a white young man, it would be inappropriate for me if they say, hey, blue lives matter, I'm mourning with you. And I say, yeah, you know what? You're right, all lives matter, black lives matter. Do you see how that would be inappropriate in that moment? Because in that moment, our role as a Christian is to empathize and sympathize with the fact that a blue life has been taken and it has been taken unjustly. So to hopefully finally put this issue to rest, I think this graphic gives us a better idea of what the phrase Black Lives Matter actually means and what it refers to. And so in the first clip, he says, well, I think that all lives matter. We should care exactly equally at all times about everything. Now, the idea in the question here, is that really true? Does that make logical sense that we should care equally at all times about everything, no matter what's going on? And in the third little clip, you can see here that there is one house that is on fire. There is another house that is not on fire. And yet they are taking the fire extinguisher and they are trying to spray it on the house that is not on fire. The fact that this doesn't make any sense at all is this idea of all lives matter. Does the house on the left matter? Absolutely it matters, but in this moment, the house on the right is the one that is being burned down and therefore should receive the attention. In the event that the house on the left burns down in some way at some time in the future, then attention needs to be diverted from the house on the right and it needs to be focused on the house on the left. It would be inappropriate for us to focus our attention on the house on the left when the house on the right is burning down. So in conclusion, should a Christian support Black Lives Matter? Well, if you're talking about the organization and everything that they have to say and what they represent, then I would say no, because much of what they represent is not consistent with scripture. And just as my shirt says, Christ over culture, we must always place our relationship with Christ far above and beyond anything going on in this world, particularly our color. But if you're talking about the idea that African-American people do have the same right to life as any other people group, then I would say as a Christian, it is our role to step in and stand behind that idea that black lives do matter. I would love to hear your thoughts. I understand this is a controversial issue and I appreciate you allowing me to divert from the normal videos that I do typically, which is a lot of scripture, so on and so forth. I don't have any scripture in this video, but I did want to address this issue and put it to rest once and for all. I would love to hear your thoughts. Leave it in the comment section below and let's talk about it. If you found this video helpful in any way, feel free to share it with a friend. Also, if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you would subscribe. Check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on The Beat.